What is going on guys? Welcome back to Learn Crypto. My name is Nick Hellman, aka the Crypto Hitman. And if you like daily updates on crypto and stock technical analysis, fundamental analysis, and news, then you need to make sure to hit that like, share, and subscribe button. See what else myself and my partner Todd Butterfield offer over at LearnCrypto.io. Super easy to remember guys. LearnCrypto.io. This episode we're going to be talking about Bitcoin price action. We're going to be talking a little bit about Coinbase micro strategy and what is going on with the Bitcoin ETFs. Let's jump right into it, but let's just start by looking at some prices on CoinGecko. Let's see. So the price action today, everything's looking pretty favorable. Pretty favorable. 24 big winners. Roll Bitcoin up 59%. I do not own Rollbit and never played on it, but congratulations to all the holders of Rollbit. I will say there's a project called Dead Press. This is a little off topic. Might as well, you know, we're doing some videos. Let's give you some alpha. It's called Dead Prez here. Now, the seed round is closed. Public round is going to be allocated to launch pads, but the private round is opening soon for Ferrum Network holders, for FRM token holders. This is going to be a casino with live sports betting and launching at like a $150,000 market cap. So, Rollbit continues to do well, isn't all that transparent, doesn't have profit sharing. These are all things that Dead Prez has. And Dead Press is launching at a super cheap valuation. So maybe we'll check that out. That's off topic. What else is going on here? Hedra, Stacks, Pepe up 8%. Will the other meme coins follow? Will SHIB continue to rally? Is Doge going to be implemented into Twitter to have a rally? Is Floki going to continue to launch its metaverse applications? I think I think there's an opportunity here. I don't think meme coins are dead. I think there's a new uh, definition of a meme coin. You know, these rug pulls are called rug pulls. Meme coins that are more of a vibe, a culture that eventually builds some utility and garnish a lot of holders because they're laughable or enjoyable, like Pepe, like uh, Doge, Floki, Mong coin. I think they have a comeback. I think they're going to come back strong. And look at that. Shibi Unu up big today as well, 6.7%. Solana, for all you who thought it was dead down there, whatever it was, 10, 12 bucks. Now 24.50 up 6.5%. And we'll continue to go down the list. Okay. Okay, pretty car for the course. You look at this and you're like, dang, green day. Green day, Nick. We're going to the moon, right? I don't know. I don't know about that. That's why let's start with the Bitcoin chart. Now you can see our historical trades here on Bitcoin. We have a buy here, sell here, buy, make profits, buy back cheaper again, make profits, sell, you know, sell, buy back cheaper again, make profits. And you see this recent buy here. So this target area of you know 287 to 293 we had this out here when we were here looking for this buy zone having patience this was the sec saying xrp1 their lawsuit whatever it was people fomoed we actually had an overhead buy we canceled that as this fomo candle was going on live in our discord live because we thought that was going to be a bear trap. Of course it was. We continued to have patience waiting for this zone. And what do you know? We got filled here at 2850, I believe. If you want these trades live, join us at patreon.com slash learn crypto. Patreon.com slash learn crypto. Myself, Todd Butterfield, will give you our exact trades live in a Discord. You can see them here. They're all time stamped. Okay? And you also have 24-7 access to us for questions. So don't be afraid to join us. It's 40 bucks a month, guys. One trade, and you'll quadruple that. I mean, I, I can't be on the record for how much you'll make in a trade. I don't know your portfolio size. 40 bucks a month is a little over a buck a day, and you'll get these entries. Now, the thing is here, so not, make it easier for you to see the zone. Had a nice rally. Nice rally already. We're doing pretty good here. Why can't I find what I want to see? I'm on a different computer here today, so uh, bear with me. All right, anyways. Up quick, 4% in what a week here from our entry great awesome love it gotta love it cool but we're not super excited here a you can see this white line i have here this has been continuous support on the way up so that is a must hold for bitcoin you know based on this trajectory you're looking like you know it needs to hold 28.5 now at this point we'll see where this line kind of comes but if this breaks you're gonna have a bunch of short sellers and a bunch of sell pressure just because off the lows, this is the low. We're not going lower than this, guys, in Bitcoin. Mark my words, that is the low. Look at the trend line. All right, so this is a big trend line to hold. That's why we are looking in this zone to kind of front run buyers, and so far it's worked. But if you notice, the RSI is very overbought already. 
Todd's indicators using the Wyckoff method are getting overbought. It is up to 45. If it gets up to 50, it will be a sell. I'm thinking more likely we're going to see kind of a B wave or a dead cat bounce here or somewhere here or maybe up here closer to, you know, 30,500. We're going to want to take profits on the position and lock in four to 6% gains. We already are put it, have a break even stop in around these levels. I'm not going to tell you that. That's for Patreon members. But we think there is a good chance. That this rally stops, people are FOMOing right now, and we have another sell-off. And you probably even check below these lows because there's going to be a lot of stop levels down here. You get the stop and you get a capitulation wick that gets you close to the support line. Gets you close. I don't know if we'll touch it or maybe we'll wick right below it to really get some people scared. But somewhere down here, I think you're going to need to be a buyer. Somewhere down here, I love, I love Bitcoin. I love Bitcoin, but it gets you somewhere down here. Okay, let's even turn it for the angle. You get somewhere in here. I'm loving it. So stay tuned with us. We're going to try to tweet about it. We're going to try to be on YouTube telling you when we sell. But if you want the exact sell for Bitcoin, join us at patreon.com slash learn crypto. Now, what else are we in? We sold Coinbase, as you can see up here at 105.87. Pretty good sell. It sold off dramatically in the face of a red stock market and a red Bitcoin to as low as $82 yesterday. 82 bucks. Now, my, right when we sold this, I told Patreon we're looking to buy it back around 90 You can see I have a green line there. We didn't place an order, but that's a place that we were interested in buying it. It continued to sell off. I wanted to pull the trigger on an oversold RSI or a 50% FIB level. Well, 50% FIB level was hit. It just happened so fast on a capitulation wick. I didn't buy it. Now I'm hoping my analysis of Bitcoin, along with stocks being down 131 today, NASDAQ is down 131 today. This leads to a dead cat bounce over here in Coinbase as well. I'm hoping we don't get up to this green line. I don't want to buy up here, but this would this would force me to buy if we get you know above 90 again, 91 bucks. I'd be forced to go long. But I'm hoping this was a relief rally, a short squeeze. And this thing's going to roll over again and give me another opportunity to buy a wick, to buy something. To buy something in this 0 0.5 to 0 0.618 FIB level. Why do I like 0.5? Well, we trade Wyckoff method. Todd Butterfield owns Wyckoff SMI. Wyckoff likes to buy 50% pullbacks on strong moves and uptrends. This is a strong move and an uptrend. If I think the low is already in, which I do, that's why we are looking to buy there. But now, I think there's a potential for dead cap bounce only because stocks are red. I think Bitcoin's getting a little overheated. And this looks like a short squeeze to me on these crypto um, stocks that exploded. You need some consolidation here. Hopefully this rolls over. Hopefully this kind of... Comes here and rolls over down into here for me to buy before it decides to take off. That's what I'm looking at. Why do I think that is a possibility? Because we can look at other stocks in the same sector. That would be micro strategy. Look what happened. We did pull out some profits here. Yeah, we sold a little early. But hey, are you going to complain if you're hitting 25% winners in the stock market? I don't think so. Join us. Patreon.com slash learn crypto. It had a substantial sell-off off the high very, very quickly. 25% drop. Me and Todd were talking about buying this back because we did get this oversold indicator down here on the RSI. But we had more room here to the 200 and moving average. The stocks are red and Bitcoin was pretty lethargic. Now, stocks are still red, but this thing has rallied quickly. It actually looks like it's about to make a bullish cross here. But again... I think this thing could stop, roll back over, and give you another opportunity to buy somewhere down here closer to this 200 moving average as this comes up, right? So maybe you can get something down here. Maybe just a slight new low. Maybe it creates a bullish divergence on the RSI for us. Maybe it wipes out some stops there, and that would be the buy that we want to be in on. Stay tuned. We'll keep an eye on that. And then the third one that kind of same thing, Riot here. Riot is a Bitcoin miner. Super red bar. I mean, look at that. So I think this is some 
Shorts probably piled on. This is a relief rally. Shorts covering, whatever it may be. And I think there's an opportunity for this to roll over as well. This is one we sold early. We did bank some profits. Can't be upset with profits in this market. You always look for another trade. But we, we do like these projects because we're long on Bitcoin. So this stock exposure could create mass gains if we if we stick with them. But again, we took profits and we think there's a chance of rolling over. All right. So to reiterate, coming back to Bitcoin, this white line is crucial, right? We've had a lot of successful trades. If you want these trades, patreon.com slash learn crypto. This is the zone we were looking for. It came into the zone and we stuck to the plan. We did buy. And look at this. This thing is already turning light red as I am doing this video right now. As I'm doing the video right now. Now, I think there's over the next few days, this could continue higher. And then, but ultimately, I think we do, could potentially see another dip. And I'm saying that because stocks are now down 131 for the close today. Red stocks. Bitcoin had a nice relief rally. Could be getting a little over itself. We're seeing overbought here on the RSI. Uh, Todd's technometer is about high neutral. So if, it, if Bitcoin has another $1,000 up from here, 31000 is definitely going to be overbought. And that would be probably be a multi-sell signal, which we're probably going to want to take. We'll keep you up to date on Bitcoin, on Coinbase, MicroStrategy, and Riot. We'll be posting about those after the fact on Twitter and posting them live over on patreon.com slash on crypto or on these YouTube shows. So check out, uh, make sure to subscribe to us, and make sure to see if there is a live show that comes on. Let's take a quick look at crypto bubbles just for the uh, heck of it. Let's see the week here. PLS up 35%. We do know that Richard Hart got hit with an SEC, you know, saying they're going to come after Richard Hart or over allegations of selling securities. I think that he's going to win that case. A, he was very careful with Hex. The case is for Hex, not for Pulse Chain or Pulse X, but everything sold off. He was very case, very good about doing that, very well spoken. I think that's going to be taken care of, and I think we're going to continue to see this come back. Now, PLS took a huge dump, so did PLSX. So this 35% isn't all that crazy over the past week because it is rallying. But I still think there's good entry opportunities on PLS, PLSX, INC, and even HEX. Because ultimately, ultimately, if XRP won, HEX is going to win. HEX has Richard Hart, who's way smarter, well, more well spoken. But he was smart. he's done videos saying why HEX isn't a security. When he launches things, he was launching these with regulation and the SEC in mind. Cash grab from SEC, they're going to lose, and those things are going to rip the next bull cycle. And Pulse Chain is going to have a BSC-like launch and really uh, a lot of opportunity for games over there. So don't sleep on those. Algorand up 3.5%. I'm seeing a lot of algo on my feed because there's this massive whale. Well, Algorand apparently is going to be the official blockchain ecosystem for FIFA, which is massive. Also, a project that we like called Goracle. Sponsoring the show, by the way. Shout out to Gora, the Oracle of Crypto, the new one to compete with Chainlink, the Oracle of Algorand, looking to rumors are saying expand to Polygon, Arbitrum, and some others. Well, if Algorand gets a big, big pump, right? Then why wouldn't its Oracle get a big pump? It's at 30 cents, guys. Small valuation. Check it out over on MEXC. If you don't have an MEXC account, look in the description below. I have a link for you, and you get 50% off of trading fee commissions forever. That's right. I'm giving back to you. Yes, it's a referral link, but you're saving 50% on trading fees, guys. I mean, I do what I can. It's a VIP link. And why do I keep saying this is Algorand's Oracle? Because if you look at the investors, Algorand and Algorand Foundation both invested in the seed round of Goracle. And guess what, guys? They don't even get any tokens for an entire year. And then after that, there's another 12 months of vesting. You think they're not going to support this project? You think if Algorand catches the eyes of many on Twitter and all these influencers aren't going to look for the, the microcaps within Algorand that are going to pump? And what do all those microcaps that pump need? If they need data, sports books, uh, credit scores, price data feeds, what do they need? They need an Oracle. And guess what? Chainlink isn't on Algorand. But Goracle is. Check it out. And the last thing I really want to touch base today is Kathy Woods predicts SEC simultaneously allows multiple spot crypto ETFs. Now, who knows if Kathy Wood is right? She's a bull. That's why we love her. I think they might uh, do multiple crypto ETFs at the same time. 
Therefore, they don't have to deal with the risk of only allowing one. Also, all the kickback from the 20 that have applied, if they're all the same, uh, saying, well, that's, you know, if, it, if they take black rocks but not grayscales and they're the exact same setup, then who paid who more money? They don't want to deal with that. And again, less risk if they allow multiple spot crypto ETFs. But really, I don't care when, how, how many. I don't give a shit. What I'm saying is people are forgetting about Bitcoin ETFs. And, or some will say it's too centralized and KYC, bad for the ecosystem. A spot ETF means if there are buyers of that ETF, whether it's BlackRock, Fidelity, Charles Schwab, Grayscale, whoever it is, if they are selling those shares, they have to go to our market, to Coinbase Institutional, OTC markets, governments, whatever, and buy Bitcoin to support those shares. And Bitcoin has a finite supply with a set inflation rate. So if they're buying, what does that do to supply and demand? That is an increase of demand while they're reducing supply because they got to customize those for those shares of that ETF. Very bullish. Also, yes, these people, this does centralize crypto. This is kind of against what the purpose of it is. But in the end of the day, we're here to make money. This will make price go up. Now, if you are about what crypto's for, and so am I, then you can use your MetaMask, you can use your ledger, and you're gonna be able to take advantage of DeFi, decentralized finance, and owning your own wealth, and securing your own future. But guys, these people that are gonna put money in this ETF, that money was not gonna come to the crypto ecosystem any other way but a Bitcoin ETF. Would you rather have the money or not? Some of these people are, because they're old, 70, 80, 90, and their financial advisors just diversifying, maybe, one to five percent in a bitcoin okay that money wouldn't have came any other way they're not going to learn how to use metamask or a ledger all right or there's people around my age in their 30s and their 40s who are just little fucking jeets okay they don't want to take the time they're not smart enough they don't want to go down the wormhole they think only stock market's the way to go i mean shit they still own bonds and do all that bullshit they're just little paper-handed jeets who went to school and think they know something and they only know about traditional finance so that's what they're going to do but if a bitcoin etf launches now in their head oh it's legitimate i can buy it on my charles schwab account so they're going to buy it again more money coming to the space that was not going to come otherwise overall a bitcoin spot etf is very bullish when they open futures at the top of 2017 that sent the price plummeting because now they can make money on the price drop in Bitcoin. Also, I don't like leveraged ETFs. I want spot ETFs, and that is what is coming. That's about all I got today, guys. Stay tuned. We're going to do more of these videos. Nice, short, sweet live shows will be longer when I do them with Todd Butterfield. We go for about an hour to an hour and a half. If you have questions for me, questions for Todd, or you want to copy trade me, join us at patreon.com slash learn crypto. And again, guys, again, shout out to our sponsors, Gora Network, the brand new Oracle solution for the cryptocurrency ecosystem currently on Algorand, looking to support Polygon, Arbitrum, and others in the future. I think there's a great opportunity there. I think they're very cheap. And guess what? You can also earn 17% APR with those tokens. Check out my other videos on how you can do that. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Peace.